And we know that over the last couple of years, we have all been through a lot of different unexpected events. And really, uh, many of us are experiencing new levels of stress or worry. So we're pro um, trying to provide um, some voluntary experiences for staff where they can really engage in new ways of self-care and not only just for themselves, but work um, together as a group to create a sense of collective care in our community. So today we're here over at Swede Hollow Park and we are going to experience a forest therapy. And this is one of the sessions that the Office of School Support is providing as part of a series of wellness or cultivating collective care events that we'll be hosting this school year and into the next couple years. So a forest therapy walk, it's basically an opportunity to deepen your relationship to nature and the environment. It's a very open and sensory activity, so participants can choose to do different things with the time that we spend. Um, it incorporates some mindfulness, and it's also just a really fun thing to do outside. Taking care of our own mental health means that we can be better uh, at our jobs and better working with our own students and the, and the students in our district. And so um, just having these opportunities to find ways, um, even these little, little small things that we can do to support our mental health, I think it's really nice that we can incorporate this into a PD day and experience it together. I really like that the district is offering, offering this training. Um, I've been interested in this type of stuff for many years. I've been doing a lot of different environmental education, working outdoors with a lot of young people and actually people of all ages for decades actually. Um, and this is great to have kind of a formalization and bring it, um, bring it to more audiences. We've been able to offer this collective care and wellness session um, because of funding that we were awarded through the ARP or American Rescue Plan um, funding. And we'll have a lot of other varieties. We'll have virtual yoga, um, some writing classes, um, opportunities for people to sit in circle or community building circles and share with one another their experience. We've created a year-long partnership with Dr. Dina Simmons, who's really a national leader at the intersection of racial equity, social justice, and social emotional learning. And in addition, um, we have been able to hire a school social worker who's working as a mental health coordinator in our district. And that person's role will help us um, also offer some additional online learning around um, different topics in mental health and we'll also be working very closely with all of our community-based mental health partners that provide school-based mental health services in our schools. 